I wanted to give you a quick introduction to uh, Duo Mobile for ArcGIS Online, our new free uh, mobile application. When you load the application, you'll see this screen. That'll be the introductory screen. Um, some, inter some blurb about the application and how to contact us in here. There's actually a blue link there for instructions. If you want to click on that, that'll open a web page to take you to walk you through instructions for how to use the application. In this box at the bottom here, there is a URL that you'll need to type in. Now this URL is a URL to your ArcGIS Online instance. So when you set up an account you'll set up a uh, basically a URL where you publish your maps to in ArcGIS. Ours is webmapsolutions.maps.arcgis.com. Yours will be something different to that but it'll probably end with maps.arcgis.com. So type in, like we've done here, your um, URL and then hit submit. That'll bring up this screen. This is your authentication into your own ArcGIS Online account. So this is what you'll do, as if you're in ArcGIS.com logging in on your PC. This is the same um, username and password that you'll use. So let me, uh, let me enter our account. And I'm somehow going to have to cleverly hide what I type for uh, our password, so excuse my uh, hidden piece here, but uh, let's see if that works out. Okay, when you hit OK, if I've typed it correctly, that should authenticate us in ArcGIS Online. And what you'll see is uh, a list of your maps that you've published to your account. So this is in our account, so these are all the, the maps that we've published. Some of them are applications, some of them are web maps. This will only load map web maps, it won't load applications of course, so let's select one of these web maps um, in, this, uh, in this view and uh, let's see what we get. So we'll type, type on that one, the window automatically closes and the, the uh, application is now um, rendering that particular published web map. In this case we've got, uh, this is of Utah, this is oil and gas fields in Utah um, and pipelines. Um, these are shapefiles actually that we've we've published out to ArcGIS Online with a with a base map. So it's a fully interactive map as you see. These are feature layers. If you know what feature layers are, you can tap on them to uh, view the attributes. You can also edit feature layers, which is a subject, a slightly different subject from what we'll be talking about here. But something that we're developing in our next release of this. Um, in the top right hand corner you'll see a number of buttons. If you've had difficulty logging in first time or your server name you mistyped, then um, you can just hit that login button and that will reopen that initial login screen, the first one where you put your server name and you can retype that. That next button is the geolocate button, the black one. That's uh, That will allow you to, if you tip, tip, if you tap that, that will take you to where you currently are. So you'll see a, a dot on the map and uh, you'll uh, you'll be zoomed to your current location. Full extent self-explanatory, that just basically takes you back to the uh, initial extent of this uh, web map that you initially loaded. There's a layers button next to that. Now if you tap on that, that basically gives you three panels or, or a single panel with three sections at the top of the, of the base layer. So you're loading initially the default base layer, but you can change that to be aerial, street or topo or back to, to default, whichever however you'd like to uh, view the background. You've also got the layers list as well and if we turn off the oil and gas pipelines, you'll see them both disappear from the map and also from the legend beneath. And as I say, there is a there's a legend beneath there which you can see, which relates to not only the layers that overlay the base map, but the base map itself. Tap the layers button to remove that. The next button at the top is a maps button. That basically brings you back to that initial screen that we saw when we first loaded the app. So if we want to go and load a different uh, web map, then you can go hit that button, and this will come up, and you can load a different one. Um, next to that is a tools button. This is where we're gonna. This is where we have and will add tools to the application. Um, this is a pretty flexible frame that we've built here, so it allows us quite easily to drop widgets in. Um, this application comes with a couple of widgets: so geocoder. So if you want to type in an address and hit find address, that will then zoom you. Presuming it finds that address, it will zoom you to that particular location and put a point on the map. And then the other one we've got in here is an overview map as well, um, which is allows you to actually pan the existing map and will change with the existing map as well. So so that's a nice addition. We're working on other tools as well. 
Um, they may uh, the tool. We're going to probably throw in some more or add some more free tools to, or tools to this free application. But uh, we're building other tools such as editing and off and offline or disconnected editing, which uh, are, are part of other work that we're doing using this framework for uh, for clients. So again, if you want to tap the tools bar, that will close that. There is an about button on the top right hand corner, which will tell you about what I've just described, and it will give you a link to. Um, the same page I mentioned earlier on in the instructions which is will walk through um, how you use the application and tells you more about uh, uh, our company. So enjoy the application and uh, thanks for watching.